Hmm. Good thing that's not me. Yo, everybody. It is me, the gamer from the slaughter. And welcome to the slaughter, by the way. And of course, we're playing Doki Doki Literature Club. I mean, it was not necessarily a game that looked like something I'd be into at first glance. But a friend of mine really urged me to play it. So, here I am. Alright, so anywho. Let's, uh. Well, I'm new to this, so. Um, call me. Okay, call me that. I'm gonna make me do this. Okay. Hey! I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. How dare you fierce me? That girl is Sayori. My neighbor and good, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You're an embarrassment, Sayori. At least I still love you. Okay, I'm not sure about that. But, you know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today. This just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. I have a few friends like that. Or one. I mean, I have multiple friends, but just one I didn't expect to be friends with, and then we we're friends. Good friends, in fact. Yeah, I still appreciate him. Yep, he knows who he is. He's even watching this. We used to walk to school together on days like this. But starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. Was she going to chase after me like this? I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sign aisle in front of the crosswalk unless they already catch up to me. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I bet it is indeed hard to keep up with little old me. Yeah. Grow some muscle, girl. Like, grow some muscle. Come on! I overslept again! But I caught up to you this time! Maybe. But only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Oh, come on. I'm very hesitant on even saying that. Because it's so. An I'm honestly come to find it very, very annoying. A very annoying cliche in anime and anime inspired stuff so I'm, no I'm just not gonna say it I'm just gonna say it so you say you like you say that like you're thinking about ignoring me indeed that's me dark dream <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I am a dark dream. I'm not even real. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. I mean, come on, girl. If anything, you would not be my wife, dude. No. You'd be best of the friend, though, at best. Fine, fine. You did wait for me, after all. True. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Oh, yes, I can, girl. Oh, yes, I can. But whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Dark Dream, 
Have you decided on the club to join yet? The occult club! A club? I mean, I mean, it's, I mean, I mean, I didn't say occult club. I mean, is there any occult clubs anywhere? I mean, like, because it's like, it's, it's not like I like to cast spells and stuff or anything like that. I told you already, I'm not interested in any clubs. Why would you assume I would even in indulge in the occult club? <laughs> you crazy, Seori. You're crazy. I mean, I haven't been looking either. I haven't. No, I haven't. That's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. No, you lie! You lie! You lie! And you should know if you're my friend that I do not like liars. I mean, if you're lying for a good reason, then maybe I can understand, but still. Still, girl. Still. Because, I mean, come on. Did I? Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. Character mix up. In one of our many conversations, where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about, Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me, and I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. And other hobbies that is none of her business, or anyone's business for that matter. But yeah, games though. Games and anime. I love Occult Academy. For reasons. Reasons. Uh-huh. Shut up! I just like the anime because it's an anime that I like. Just like, you know? I just like it. I can just like an anime just because I enjoy it, you know? I don't have to give you a reason. I just like the anime. Shut up! I was talking about how I'm worried about, you know, that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills at before college. Girl, I've been animating before I even got to college. And I got into the top 20 on this animation website. Do not underestimate me and what I'm capable of. Miss you, Flipnotatena. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? Aww, thank you. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Tell that to a lot of other people, honey, not me. Trust me, right? You trust me? worrying about you. Alright, alright. I mean, I am a dark dream, and you might actually want to worry about those. It's okay. Worry about me as much as you want. You should worry. I mean, I'm a dark dream after all. I could be something deep. I could be some deep, repressed feeling you have that may tear away at your soul. I mean, maybe the nightmare that will haunt you for the rest of your life. Well, I'll look into a few clubs if it makes you happy. <laughs> no promises, though. You at least promise me you'll try a little. Yeah, yeah, I guess I'll promise to that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? Why do I let myself get lectured by a bunch of people? I don't really care what they have to say. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. And other people. Not that everyone I know is intolerable. That quite a bit of in fact quite a bit of people I know I actually have a lot of respect for. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me so Want, want to ease her mind at least a little bit. I mean, I am a dark dream. You should worry about that. 
Even if she does exaggerate everything in her head. But then at the same time, I'm in her head. I'm a dark dream. I'm in everybody's head. Something like that. The school day is, an ordinar is as ordinary as ever. And it's over before I know it. But then, school's always like that. What else is new? After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. I mean, they expect us to get good grades, but... You know, with boring crap like this? Sorry, people. Expect some low grades now and then. Yeah, until you make school a bit more interesting. A clubs. Zori wants me to check out some clubs. Because I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori! Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. I mean, school's that boring anyway, so. Not like, not unexpected. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom. But I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought you know... Know what? Well, you could come to my club. And what club is this, Sayori? Like, Sayori! Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club! <laughs> Meanie. I'm sorry, I just refuse to say it. It is such an annoying... Annoying... Thing. It's a cliche I would like to die from anime. Or I don't know. Or maybe not anime. Maybe that's just a thing I don't understand. It's still annoying even in anime. But when it comes to anime inspired stuff like this, why? Sayori's vice president of a literature club. Well, actually, that doesn't, that doesn't sound so bad. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would make, but, well, make her new friends, for one thing. And be fun to help start a new club. To make new friends. Since I'm the only friend she has. And I told her before that, honey, I can't be there for you all the time. I'll, I could try, but that all depends. But I recommend making new friends. It doesn't hurt to have more than one friend. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club. She inherited the title of Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. But then I'm lying. I love reading. I just haven't had the time for it yet. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kind of told the club yesterday that I would bring a new member. Ah, oh, so you are here. And Natsuki's... Make cupcakes and everything. Ooh, cupcakes! Oh! Nice try! You can't even get me with cupcakes. And maybe the scion of gluttony. Self proposed. But you will not get me with food. My gluttonous urges go for anime now. I'm gonna see all the good animes. Now don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori really is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning that she had to plan all this out. I'll let out a long sigh. Because I gotta admit, actually, I'm really, really craving cupcakes right now. It's too powerful. Oh, gluttony! Fine! Stop by for a cupcake, okay? But only for the cupcakes. Yes! Let's go!
And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I'm not even sure if it was strawberry or not. If it was strawberry, then it was worth it. The best strawberry with whipped cream, marshmallows, and some bananas in it. Oh, yes. With soft, soft, soft frosting. With a vanilla, with the cake itself being vanilla flavored. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mmm, those little tiny sprinkles on it. Those tiny, tiny sprinkles. Those little tiny red sparkle sprinkles. Mmm. Yeah. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I rarely visit, I generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone! The new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member. <laughs> I glance around the room. Interesting looking girl. Overwhelmingly interesting. Hmm. I like the jury hair you got. Hmm. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Charity always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Got a problem with that girl? You got a problem with that? I'm a man! I'm a man and I'm proud of it! Ow, I hurt myself! Way to kill the atmosphere! Mm -hmm. I'll be haunting your dreams tonight. Girl number two. Never see the end of me. Ah, <laughs> Ah, dark dream. What a nice surprise. <laughs> well, dark dreams are usually surprising. I'm glad I surprised you, because I should be surprising. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. Like, why is this club nothing but girls? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Just... Can I start there be other boys? No. Well, nothing wrong with girls. So let's do this. This club is full of incredibly cute girls! The one on the far right is my favorite! What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. I'm sorry. Not really. Natsuki. Hm. Go with the sour attitude. His name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. And she'll likely be one I'll completely forget. Her small stature makes me think she's probably a first year. And will probably be nobody once she gets out of this school. Or at least nobody I'll care about. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Soyori. Okay, never mind. I may remember her. I just ignore her when she gets moody. So you already that so you already says that quietly into my ear. And turns around to the other girls. Stop being creepy. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. She don't say things like that. Yuri. Best of the friendo material. Not waifu. Best of the friendo. Who appears comparably more mature and timid. Seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Uh, well, nice to meet you both. Especially Yuri. I think we'll become good, good friends. And nothing more. Just friends. And it sounds like you already know Mon Monika. Monica. Monica? Is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Dark Dream. 
Monica always smiles so sweetly. But she's trying too hard. Like, like, stop it. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked. But we were in the same class last year. Yeah. Monica. Or Monica. Is what I call her. Because she's alright. She's alright, I guess. Because I remember her being alright. She was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. But then, I don't care. She was never in my league to begin with anyway. So, having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Um... Uh, you too, M M M Monica. Alright. Come sit down, Dark Dream. We made room for you at the table. So you can sit next to me, oh, oh Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? That would be lovely, Yuri. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As you already mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk all over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. I don't know the point of describing this stuff, but this is a literature club. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! What? Huh? Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Yeah, I guess it's cute. I have no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one! So he grabs one first. And then Monica... Then Monica, and I follow. It's delicious! So he talks with her... Oh. Wait, hold on. I got just the thing. It's delicious. So she already talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to bite. The Natsuki's quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. Stop staring at me, it's creepy. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. Mmm. Mmm. This is really good. Yeah, good job. Mmm. Yeah, thanks, Natsuki. Well, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Oh no, you're like that, are you? Haven't I heard this summer before? Made them for you or anything? You are like that! Dude, I thought you technically did. Like, I, really, I thought you technically did, Sayori. Sayori, I mean, you're not Sayori. But Sayori did say. Well, maybe. But not for you, you know. You! To me. Alright, alright. I'll spare you from haunting your dreams for now. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before sitting down the cup the, the teacup next to the cup tray. Cupcake tray. Yeah. Anywho, 
You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot tub of tea help you enjoy a good book? Well, actually yes. In fact, I'm gonna stop it here for now. But thank you guys for helping me get into this club. And, well, maybe I'll give a little book do a thing for this one too. Or I'll give a book recommendation of my own, just to keep into the spirits. And so, yeah, I'm just gonna head off now. But thank you guys. Ah, here we go. But thank you guys for joining me so far. And let us move forward into the literature club. And this is the gamer from the slaughter. Oh, and your next visit.